watchful movie. Victims. Will this spirit of setback following me continue to succeed? Will I ever prevail? What will my uncle do to me, when he finds out I am now a Christian? Will household wickedness destroy my future? Will I take advantage of prayer? You will want to watch this movie, to the end to see what you can learn from this story and also how you can apply it to your life. As you remain a victor in life. God bless you. To subscribe, like, comment and share. John, where are you? Don't let me call you twice or else, you will feel sorry for yourself tonight. Aunt, you called me. I don't know what is your use in this house. Ever since my husband brought you to this house, it has been one complaint or another from school, and from the neighbors. How you bully their child. Making them feel uncomfortable. By kicking them, hitting them, pushing them, tripping them. So many things, they have complained about your behavior. Which is very bad. Your teachers also complain, you stole a kid's snacks. What is your problem, don't you have your own snacks? Now, you have been suspended from school from one week, because you were fighting too. Your teacher also complain, you were never attentive in class, rather you doze off when the teachers are teaching. What kind of a child are you? What family problem is troubling you? You cannot stay in my house again. When my husband comes back, you will go back to the village, to live with your parents. I don't want your bad behavior to rub my children. Aunt, I did not steal any snacks, I only wanted to make her cry. That's all. I'm tired of this house. I want to go and live with my parents. I don't like it here anymore. I'm gentle and happy in my parents' house. But here I'm sad and angry. That's why, when other kids get me angry, I bully them. How is that my fault? I want to go. I have no rest in this house. I do everything. I want to go and meet my daddy and mommy. I don't want to go back to that school again. You think you know too much, your mouth is sharp, talking back at me. Ungrateful child. You that your parents, don't have anything. I and my husband is managing to help. Don't worry. I will deal with you later. Get out from my face. Before you sleep, make sure you finish washing the plates, tidying the kitchen and get yourself ready for tomorrow to go sell some oranges. Are you telling me? This boy wants to go back to the village to live with his daddy and mommy? Yes, and I want him to go. I'm tired of him. He's too stubborn. I cannot deal with him anymore. I need another child to help us. So, when coming back from the village, bring another boy or a girl from your family to live with us. Please don't stay long in the village. You know I cannot do the housework, neither my children for they are royalty and they need to be served. My children are royalty, so I also you my wife. Sweetheart, I don't want us to take him back for many reasons. Village people have been gossiping us. How both of us keep changing kids that comes to live with us. I don't want more side talk anymore. Two, this boy is my nephew, my brother's son. Since my brother is sick and his wife is taking care of him, everyone expect me to take care of him. 3. Babe, why are you bother about his behaviors, when you know, we have made his life useless, and our children life will be great. He's a sacrifice for the well manner of our children, their intelligence and their bright future. He has no destiny again. We have taken away everything from him. Just be patient with him. One day, we will throw him out on the street. <laughs> My evil husband. This is why I love you. Your wicked heart that shown a mercy. We are birds of the same feathers that flocks together. I will show him. Pepper, in this house. I will ensure he suffer greatly in my hands. 
so also I hated his father my brother, he was everything, strong and useful to our parents, I was the prodigal son without a future. I was not bother, I thought my mafia lifestyle will make me rich, but it was not working for me. Right in front of my eyes, my brother started his own business, his business was thriving, my brother was in money, taking proper care of our parents. He was the golden child as usual. He was helping people in the community. Everyone loved him. I became full of jealousy, envy, hatred and anger. My brother was doing well for himself and he was about to get married to his beautiful wife. I was boiling in hatred. Until my best friend Brovi showed me the way out of my situation. I can never forget that day, sitting all alone in the dark, thinking about my life. My brother happiness made me feel even more miserable. King Zulu my guy. What is eating you up? Brovi, everything. Jealously Wana finished me up. My brother is more successful than me. I was the only one enjoying my parents' love. But after 15 years, my parents have him and my youngest brother. Both of them are now my parents' favorite children. Especially my brother Chris. He's their most favorite child. I'm tired of both of them taking my place. They have stolen my parents' love from me. I don't know how I can become my parents' favorite child again. But my brother is standing on my way. He is rich, and very soon, he will be getting married to his beautiful bride. Brovi, look at my life, I'm a nobody. Zulu, crying will not solve your problem. I have been telling you about Guba, the goddess of the great sea, how he make people rich. Let me take you to her. He will transfer your brother wealth to you. This time, I'm ready. Take me to her. The perfect time, let's go. Gooba, the great goddess, I want to be rich, I want my brother Chris to lose his wealth for me. I want everything successful about him to come to me. Including my youngest brother in school. I want him not to amount to anything. I want to be the only one rich in my family. I want my brother Chris and his children to suffer greatly. I want to be his savior, the one helping him. So I also my youngest brother. I want to be my parents favorite child. <laughs> Anyone who come to me, Gooba, the great goddess, always get an answer. Always getting the solution to his or her problem. I will make you rich. But your soul will be mine. Zulu, are you ready to sacrifice your soul for wealth? Yes. Your goddess. I'm ready to do anything. Take this, at 12 midnight. Plant this in front of your brother's shop. He will lose everything. Whatever business you want to start, you will flourish. Your brother will become sickly and he will depend on you to survive. The more you help him, the more he will be sick. The more you will be rich. His destiny will become yours. Anyone you help, in your family, their challenges will increase, and you will prosper the more. They will be victims, your prey that you will devour. And you will be the victor. Ensure, you are careful, who you help. Especially if they are Christian, who knows who they are in Christ. If not, you will die. Now go, make sure, you bring human sacrifice for me every new year. Thank you Gooba the great goddess. I will do all you says. My brother Chris, as I planned this in front of your shop, tonight. Everything, you have will become mine, you will be my slave. No one will be able to deliver you out from my hands. You will suffer, and be in pain all your life, till you die. Ha 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 ha. As you step your foot on your shop. This will be the end of your destiny. My victim. <laughs> My wife it has been many years now, and it has happened just as Gubla, the goddess of the great sea said. So, don't worry yourself about his son. The same destiny await him. Just like his father.
the fate that shall before him will be far worse than that which before his father. Stubborn boy. My wife, let's have our dinner. Hope you did not give him food to eat tonight. You know me. I gave him no food. <laughs> what is my father and my mother up to? Though, I did not hear exactly what they were saying. But I know they don't mean well for my cousin John. John I brought you food. I'm not hungry. I care John, I can't allow you to stay in hunger. You haven't eaten anything since morning. Please eat something before you go to bed. I'm so sorry for what my mummy and daddy are doing to you, please forgive them. I will never forgive them. They are so cruel to me. Daily they willfully cause me pain and suffering. I'm sad Alex. You are the only one who loves me in this house. The only one who shared his food with me when I'm not given food to eat. You are the only one who plays with me. I miss my mommy and daddy. I wish to live with them. So I can be happy again. I'm sad in this house. <laughs> Maybe this Christmas will be possible when we all go to the village for Christmas. Your wish will come through. And you will be happy again. Living with your daddy and mommy. Only I will miss you so much my brother. Except, when I see you next time again at Christmas. Wow. I never thought about that. What an opportunity to stay back home in the village and never to return again. I will miss you my brother Alex. I now have appetite for the food. Alex I'm starving. <laughs> and sure, you don't tell my mummy you want to return to the village. If not they might not allow you to join us to the village for Christmas. My mouth is zip Alex. Big Brother Zulu, the drink tastes good. Whenever I come to your house, you and your wife spoil me with good food and drinks. Poor people like us cannot afford this kind of drink. <laughs> what are brothers for? I will do anything for you and our brother Chris, ensuring you both are happy. How is your wife doing? She's doing fine. She sent her greetings. Big brother I need your help, business has really been very bad. No customers, no goods to sell to customers who comes to buy. And is from the shop, I and my wife feed from. I'm thinking of searching for a job, since business is not working for me. My shop rent is just due for payment, I don't have any money to pay my landlord. I understand the situation of things. Don't stop the business. I will take care of the rentage and I will give you more money to buy goods in your shop. I don't want my brother working for any company when his brother is rich. Thank you big brother. I'm grateful. God will bless you in abundance. Amen. You need to talk to your nephew, he has been suspended from school again. The teachers are complaining about him. The neighbors are also complaining. And my wife is fed up of his stubbornness. You better talk to him. I will big brother, please forgive him. You know children. I believe you will let grow this level. I will definitely apologize to your wife. Is okay afterwards we are all family. Honey, my in-law Benjamin, lunch is serve. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. With yummy roasted chicken fried rice and variety of dessert to enjoy. Come let's all go eat. I'm already perceiving the aroma. I can wait to enjoy your meal today. <laughs> Thank you. John I don't like the complaint I'm hearing about you. From school, from neighbors and even from your aunt. Why are you being stubborn? I talked with you the other time, you promised me such attitude will never happen again. Why now? Do you want your sick father to hear all this about you? How will he feel? Don't you know it might worsen his condition? Please John be grateful. Your uncle has been a great help to us in this family. Please be nice. I don't know uncle, I just feel there's something wrong somewhere. I wish I could figure it out and solve it. I feel we'll our victims in this life. My dad is sick. You are broke. 
your business never prosper. Your wife has not been able to get pregnant all this years. I'm the only child of my parents. What about me? I'm sad and miserable. Is this how my life will be? And as for you uncle, is this how your life will remain as a Christian? No progress. It's swell with us. One week later. Hi John, good to see you at the library today. I just came to see how the library looks like and I found nothing special about it. Watching everyone picking up a book and reading it. It all seems awkward to me. I got to go. Bye Betty. Not so fast John. Let's talk. I can see you pick up a book. How to find your purpose in life. Have you read it? I try but I don't seem to understand anything from the book. That's why I don't read. I really want to read. But it seems, I don't understand anything. And whatever our teachers are teaching us. I think this book will help you to have understanding. Take it. Is all yours now. The Bible. Yes. The Bible is feed with truth. Answer to all your questions and troubles. This book is filled with wisdom, insight, knowledge, revelation and understanding. The Bible will make you intelligent. It will bring to your life, ability and excellent. If you can understand this book, the Bible, you will be able to understand every subject. And you will discover eternal life. You must be kidding me. My uncle has the Bible. Why hasn't him comes out of poverty? Why hasn't his wife got pregnant? If you say it is filled with every answer like he claimed to be. What make you feel I will understand the Bible? The Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible. And when you choose to study it allegedly, he will teach you everything you need to know from God's Word. He will help you to understand God's Word. He will help you to find your purpose in life. He will bring meaning to your life. As for your uncle, I don't know why his condition has remained the same. Maybe when you find the answer, you will be able to help him out. Really? Who is the Holy Spirit and how is he my teacher? The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. This means the Holy Spirit is God, co-equal with God the Father and God the Son and is of the same essence. So the both three are one. Jesus Christ is the Word of God made flesh. He came to die for us and he took away our sin. He went to hell and defeated the devil. On the third he arose. And he is seated in heaven, far above all principalities. Jesus is the first begotten of the Father. And anyone who accepts Jesus as his Lord and Savior received eternal life. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to live in us, as our teacher, helper, so we can live the victorious life in Christ here on earth. But many people has refused to accept him. Yet they remain victim in this life. Even some ignorant Christians are victims instead of being victors. I got my answer now. What? I have always feel like a victim in this life, so I think of my uncle and his wife, and my daddy and my mommy are victims. I want us to be victors in this life, not victims of life circumstances. It's simple by accepting Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Staying in relationship with the Word and in prayer with the Holy Spirit. You will find all your answer. What you have to do now, is by saying the prayer of salvation with me and also, receiving the Holy Spirit to come live in you. I'm ready to say the prayer salvation. Say this. O Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, your Son who died for me and was raised from the dead for my justification. Therefore I confess Jesus Christ as Lord of my life from this day forth. I receive remission of sins for my soul and I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am saved. I am born again. Thank you for making me your child. I now walk in the consciousness of my new life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Congratulations John, you're now a child of God. Thank you Betty, for making me know Jesus today. I feel great, I feel 10 weeks later. Psalm 91, 
He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flitteth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. With long life will I satisfy him, and shew him my salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you Holy Spirit for teaching me how to read and understand the Bible. Every day I'm so excited, seeing my improvement whenever I read the Bible and my books. Wow! Now my teachers are proud of me. Lord I'm so grateful. John, did I just heard you reading so fluently? How did this happen? Your reading was so smooth, excellent and effortless. My brother I can read now. Also I can spell and understand what I'm reading too. Wow! How did this happen? This is so beautiful. The Holy Spirit taught me how to pronounce every word I read from the Bible. Fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit has really transformed my life. His leading and guidance in my life has brought excellence into my life. For He is my teacher. He teaches me all things and He brings all things to my remembrance. Wow this is amazing! The Holy Spirit. Yes, that's because I am born again. And also I have received the Holy Spirit into my life. Having Jesus in my life is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Alex I now know, I will no longer be a victim in this life. My future will be great. I'm no longer afraid of what my tomorrow will be. Because I know it will be prosperous. Alex my brother, I want you two to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Who knows what Jesus will do in your life? If you accept him as your Lord. John, the excitement and the joy from you is so contiguous. Who will not want to accept Jesus, seeing this great miracle he has done for you? Alex say the prayer of salvation with me. O Lord God. Deborah, why are you sinking into the dark? I have watched you for one week now. You go out every night. Only God knows where you go to. And tonight you are doing the same again. This unbelievable. Quite Alex, I don't want Mummy and Daddy to hear your voice. And they must not find out about this. I'm going to the club. Alex, club is filled with so much fun. Going to the club with my friends has been super cool. And I'm not about to stop. Got it. When did you start going to club? And where are those friends of yours I don't know? Club is bad, therefore, Deborah, I'm going to tell mommy and daddy about it. You won't. I got new friends. That's it. If you tell mommy and daddy, I will tell both of them. How you said the prayer of salvation. Ta. La. I saw you. Are you surprised? As for John. Him too is now a Christian. He can now read. And you know Daddy and Mummy are going to be so furious with you and they will take John back to the village. I bet you don't want this to happen to your dear cousin. Please don't tell Mummy and Daddy. I promise I won't say a word to them. I like that. You will keep my little secret. I will keep yours. Make sure my room window is not locked. I will be back before daybreak. Bye Alex. John I'm so impressed by your scores. Every subject you got distinction. This is amazing. 
Your teachers also brought good reports of your lovely behavior you now have with other kids. I heard you have many friends now. Wow! What happened, John? Reading the Bible was my secret, sir. The Holy Spirit helped me with all the red sound to pronounce every word I read, and also to understand what I read. It has been amazing, sir. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Your guardian will be very proud of you. Your aunt will be here soon. I want to share your amazing miraculous improvement with her. This time is your good behavior and the school is proud of you. Thank you, headmaster. But I want you to do me a favor. I want you and my teacher to complain terrible things about me to her. Why, John? That is because I want to surprise my guardians with my result. This is what I want, sir. Will you please do this for me? <clears throat> well, if this what you want, we will do it for you. Thank you, sir. You are welcome, John. Few hours later. What is the complaint all about John again? What has he done this time? Just as usual. If he doesn't change from his bad behavior and improve in his study, the school will have to let him go. We will not accept him in the next school term. I'm so fed up of John. If he doesn't improve, he will not attend the same school with my children. I will not allow him to bring shame to my children. He will stop going to school. My husband cannot be wasting his money on a stubborn boy. Well, we hope he changed, Mrs. Linda. Thanks for coming. It's so good to be home, Dad. I miss you and Mummy so much. How are you doing, Dad? I and your Mummy miss you so much. We both would have wanted you to stay with us as one big lovely family. But I don't want you to see me suffer in pain. Also, your uncle will be able to give you a good education, taking proper care of you, and to give you a beautiful life. So you will be a doctor. Just as you always wanted. You can take proper care of me, your sick father. John, hope you are taking your books very seriously. Please, son, be a good boy to your uncle and aunt. Promise. I promise you, Dad. I will always be a good boy. Dad, you don't need to suffer any more in sickness or wait for me to become a doctor to treat you. Dad, I brought to you eternal life. Anyone who received eternal life will receive life eternal. Jesus came to give life, not sickness. He died so you will suffer no more. Those in Christ are not victims of sickness, disease, nor infirmities. Daddy, in Luke 10 verse 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Daddy, I have all authority in the name of Jesus to cast out devils, that has had you bound in sickness, pain, suffering and lack. If only you will believe in Jesus, he will make you whole. But son you are only a child. Daddy, God is no respecter of persons. He can use anybody. He made even a donkey to speak. Son, I believe God can use you to heal your sick father. Son, I believe too. I believe in Jesus. I believe if you pray for me today, I will be healed. Now you spirit of infirmities, I cast you out of my daddy body. You have no place here. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Come out from his body. Jesus Christ is Lord of his body. His body belongs to me. And you can cast me out from his body. I will torment him night and day. And his brother Zulu will remain rich. I'm the great goddess. You demon from the pit of hell, you tormenting spirit get out of this body, now in thy name of Jesus. Out and return no more. Daddy you are healed. You are made whole. Rejoice for God has healed you today. All that the devil is stalling from you, you will recover them all. <coughs> Son, I'm healed. I feel so free. All the pains are gone from my body. Glory to God. Glory to God. God, you are so good. Thank you for healing my husband. <laughs> Mummy, I know you are so excited. 
sit let's talk. Daddy, when I was praying for you, I heard in my spirit, that you should not accept anything, any longer from Uncle Zulu. I saw the vision, you and Uncle Benjamin was tied up in a great cage. You know your uncle will be suspicious. Take it don't use it. I'm so proud of you are my son. You are a blessing to us. I love you son. I love you too dad. Congratulations John. I'm so happy God Almighty has healed your father. How great is our God. My heart is filled with joy. There's power in the name of Jesus. Finally my daddy is free from sickness. What an honor to worship you Lord. For your name changes everything. Will you still remain in the village? Since God has healed your daddy, I will go with you to the city. I believe God has a plan. Wow who? I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go to the woods to hurt. I'm going to catch some grass cutter. I'm going to catch some beautiful parrot to take with me to the city. Woohoo! My brother, I'm so sorry I was unable to come and see you. Since yesterday we came to the village. I was so tired. How are you feeling? The treatment isn't working? Brother Zulu, the same as usual. The treatment are not working. But I know one day, God will heal me. My brother I wish there's something, I can do for you to get better, I would have done it. It pains me when I see you like this. I brought money for your treatment and upkeep. My God will expose all our enemies. Amen. Father, we thank you for your goodness in our life. Daily we are sustained by your word. Life can only be beautiful for me and my family. For you have made us the head and not the tail. We are victors in Christ. For we are seated in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers. How are you praying John? Ha 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 ha. What do you think you are doing praying in my house? How are you now praying like Uncle Benjamin? Who nothing has changed in his life. I can see you are jobless. Instead of you to read your books. Dullhead, you can't even read. Go and watch the cars. Since you don't know what to do with your time. Yes, sir. My wife, you will not believe what I just saw. John praying. What? How did that happen? I'm astonished myself. Could it be my brother has led him to Christ? Honey, why are you bother? He's only a little boy. He knows nothing about being Christ Jesus. Therefore, he is as useless as his uncle Benjamin. Let him pray night and day. His prayers are powerless. What can a little boy do to us? Our altar is greater than his prayer altar. Who can challenge our power? The Great Goddess. Don't be bother my husband, his life and destiny is in your hands. Yes you are right. But I don't know why I feel something is wrong somewhere. I need to see my brother Benjamin. What is going on here? Your shop is empty again. Why did you not tell me? I would have sent you money to buy goods. Brother Zulu. I did not want to bother you with my problems again. Don't talk like that. We are brothers. It is my responsibility to take care of you. I promise our parents, before they pass on. I will take proper care of you and Chris. Ensuring you both never lack. So chill, I will send money into your bank account, so you can buy goods in your shop tomorrow. Thank you my brother Zulu. Don't mention. By the way, how you aware, John now pray. Wow, that is so wonderful. This call for a great celebration. I thought you are the one that led him to Christ. Not at all. I'm so surprised to hear this. My nephew is now a Christian. This means, he will no longer cause trouble anymore. We hope so. Sugar, hope you still remember what John said to us about Uncle Zulu. Hope you are not going to use that money he sent to you. Never. But how are we going to get money to buy goods in the shop? I sold my gold jewelry today. 
and the money will be enough to stock the shop with some goods. With God blessing upon our business, our business will prosper, grow and expand. You sold the gold jewelry your mother gave to you. Babe the jewelry mean a lot to you. It was passed to you, from your grandma, to your mother, now to you. You won't have sell it. Sugar my grandma and mother are in support, as long as it will help us. We have to start from somewhere. We have to buy goods in the shop. I know things are going to be great for us now. No more failure in our business anymore. Thank you babe. Is a new beginning for us. Months later. Mr. Paul how dare you, use my company account to commit fraud. All this why as my chief accountant, you have been using the company account for fraudulent activity. When you ought to ensure, the credibility of the company accounts. Rather you were committing crime with it. I trusted you Mr. Paul, and you paid me with such evil. The company was charged huge amounts of money to pay. Thanks to my lawyer, we were able to resolve everything, and the reputation of my company was secure. I would have handled you over to authority to be sentenced to imprisonment. I don't want people to start asking questions. I'm happy, your money and assets, was used as part of the payment. Next time in your life, you will never mess with someone like me. With immediate effect you are fired. Take your belongings and live my company. Forgive me sir, I'm so sorry sir, for all that happened. I never meant to do this. The guy behind this fraud was my school friend. He told me his company account was having an upgrade issue. And he needed to receive a subtle amount of money immediately for a contract deal. He needed to execute. I trusted him. That was while I used the company account. Time passed, he blackmailed me. To report me to you and to the authority, doing fraud business with him, and they will be jail. I was afraid. Whenever he wanted to use the company account, for his fraud transaction. I allowed him. I don't care about your life story. Get out of my company now. Security take him out from here. Sir please have mercy on me. I'm very sorry sir, you have to leave. <coughs> what nonsense. I'm so happy I was able to secure my company. Guy what is so urgent? You ask me to see you here at the restaurant. You know what happened. My boss fired me today. He gave me no chance at all. I was unable to take my $1,500,000. I hid in the warehouse. I'm desperately in need of that money to start my life. I told you not to use your boss company warehouse to hid your fraud money. Because anything can happen. I never knew I will be cut. You know I was planning to start my own company from next month. Richard, I never saw this coming. We have to break in, tomorrow to take that money. That money is my life. I have no money with me. My own account was frozen. My boss took all my money and assets to settle those in high authority, including his own money. Mr. Paul, I don't know how does this concern me. Richard, I have my main security guard tomorrow night on duty. He will be able to let both of us in into the company without no one suspecting. The security cameras that will lead us from the company into the warehouse will all be put off. We take the cash. I give you $300,000. I give him $200,000. I keep my $1,000,000. How about that? I like the sound of that. I am in. Do you trust him? Yes with my life. He is my guy. We will take no chances. We have to be on costume tomorrow not to be detected. No problem about that. Deal. Tomorrow the adventure begins. Woohoo! Mr. Paul the cameras are all off. You and your guy should get the money and leave immediately. You know where to drop my money. Thanks Officer George, we will do this quickly. I know exactly where to drop your money. Good. And what are you doing with a cigarette? I just need it to cool off. I'm in so much tension right now. You have to put it off. Leave no evidence. 
Now go. Mr. Paul, we got the money already? Let's go. There's a particular document I hid in my office. I need to get it too. I will be quick. Hurry up, let's go. Woohoo. We are rich. Wait a minute what's that smell? Oh my god, fire. I think I mistakenly dropped the cigarette where we kept the bag of money. What? You mean the money we came for is on fire? No this cannot happen. Paul, we need to get out of here now. I'm going nowhere. What is life for me without money? Richard find your way out before the fire consume you. Are you be serious right now? The fire is spreading. I got to go. We saw a dead body. Completely burned up. This is a very terrible incident. We could save nothing. You guys did your best. Thank you sir. My boss will be informed of everything that has happened tonight. How terrible Mr. Paul ended up his life. And we lost all the money. So sad. <laughs> How my soul has found rest. I have everything I want. Thanks to Gooba, the goddess. What do I need God for? When Gooba, the great goddess has given me wealth. Let my soul rejoice. Great is my wealth. And I will keep amassing more wealth for myself. What should I achieve next? Maybe a bigger mansion, with a private jet. Maybe I should go into politics. And gain more powers to subdue men and nations. Yes that's what my soul need next. Ha 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 ha. Uncle, you look excited. John, you were supposed to go to your school result portal to check for your result today with your username and password. Hope you did. And I told you to print it out for me to see. I know you failed again. Give me the result, let me look at it. What's this? Is this your result? Or someone else? But your name is on it. How come they exchange someone else result with yours? Oh, a remark by your teacher, an exceptional performance that exceeds my expectations. And excellent results. Kudos John. Keep it up. Uncle what you're looking at is my result. And I got the highest grade A plus in all the subject. I have the highest scores. And I am the best pupils now in my class. That's not possible, you know nothing. You that cannot read. What is the meaning of this? That I'm seeing. Uncle that was before. The new John in Christ can read very well. Tell me to read anything. And I will read it perfectly well. Read that. I'm listening. What is politics? Politics is the activities associated with the governance of a country or area, especially the debate between parties having power. How did this happen? Is not possible. You are supposed to know nothing. And why did your headmaster and teacher did not tell us your guidance about your improvement? They will answer to me. Why did you say that uncle? I expect you to be happy for me. Isn't this what you always wanted? Yes. Congratulations John. So how come you can now read? And even became very intelligent. Reading my bible every day and praying too. I see. Sophia, why are you here? Has my cargo arrived? I was told it will arrive in two weeks time. Sir, there is a problem. I don't even know how to say this to you. Sorry to inform you sir, that all your cargo got sink in the sea. What? You must be joking. That is not possible. My cargoes. All my money. No. 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 First, I was shocked by John improvement. Now this. What is going on? What's happening? This can't be. Sophia, those cargoes are worth billions of dollars. All my money under the sea. Sophia talk to me. I need answers. I feel like losing my mind. <laughs> Sir, the cargo ship capsized due to the excess weight of the cargoes. 
it was overloaded with all your supplies, which increased the risk of it been capsizing. The ship ought to have a maximum capacity limit. Sir, this is the possible reason for the capsizing of the ship. And the sinking of all your cargoes. <laughs> Sir, how you all right? You look stress. Hope there's no problem. <laughs> Everything is fine. Where is the new security? Mr. Rex, my security guard is resigning this morning. Sir, he is outside. Okay, let him in. Sir, there is a problem. What is the problem with him? Sir, not the new security guard. But your company and warehouse was on fire. And it was completely burnt down. The firemen could not save a thing. I'm very sorry we could do nothing, sir. Ha ha ha. My heart, my heart, I'm finished. I have lost everything, I have labor for. Why me? Just in less than 24 hour, my beautiful world turned into ashes. A gloomy dark night. <laughs> my wife will sit with my daughter Debbie and my son Alex. Honey, are you crying? Talk to me what happened. My wife, let me know what is going on with our children first before I tell you the bad news. You see this your two children here. Deborah and Alex. What is wrong with them? Talk to me. I'm not myself right now. For your son Alex, he is now a Christian. John has succeeded in converting our son to Christ. What? Where is that boy, John? Now I know where all my problems are coming from. He is leaving my house this minute. Daddy please don't take John away, he is my brother. Daddy been a Christian is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And my prayer for this family, is that everyone will be saved. And this family sees from doing evil. It can affect us your children. Except we are saved. You heard him. He was even preaching to his brother Peter. But Peter refused to accept Jesus as his Lord. That is how, I found out about Alex be born again. John has brainwashed you Alex. Why did you listen to him? Instead of me your father. Alex, you will have to deny Jesus, I promise to give you anything you want. Afterwards, the Bible says, children honor your father and mother. And you have to do likewise Alex. And as for John, he is leaving my house period. Your only brother is Peter. Daddy, I could not deny Jesus. He is my Lord forever. Nothing you will give to me that can buy my salvation. What I have is life eternal. I will honor you. But I will obey God. I'm sorry dad. <laughs> what about our daughter, as she also accepted Jesus too as the Lord of her life? Our daughter has brought shame and reproach to this family. She has disgraced us. She has break our heart. Our daughter has been living a promiscuous life, behind our back for some time now. She goes out at night to the club, drinking and partying. Now she is pregnant. Not knowing who pregnanted her. Abomination. Pregnant. You want to give birth to a bastard in my house without a father. What have I not done for you, my child? I have given you every beautiful thing you wanted. If you want more, I would have given it to you. Why did you choose this part? Why did you choose to do this to me, your beloved father? John has ruined my life. He has destroyed my family. Bring him here. Let me take him to his Uncle Benjamin house immediately. Let him go to his kind where he can pray and read his Bible but not in my house. Daddy I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I don't know what came over me. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
That stubborn boy must leave my house immediately. He has ruined us. Everything we have is gone. How will I show off to my friends again? Honey, we have to do something immediately. And you know what to do. We can't go down. You are right, my wife. Get John and his things. Let me go to Benjamin's shop now. You think you are strong, I will deal with you. How dare you convert my son Alex to Christ. For that you can't stay in my house. What's going on here? Look at you my brother, looking lamorious. How did your shop got filled with goods? Customers everywhere are shopping. What happened to the money I gave you? Jesus multiple my two fishes and five loaves of bread. This is the wonder of God. God Almighty has changed my story. I don't understand you. This can't be. Anyway, congratulations. I actually brought more money for you. You can add it to your business and buy more goods. Thank you so much my brother Zulu. I don't need it. Jesus keeps blessing me every day. Good morning Uncle Zulu. Good to see you. What is going on here? You look transform Andrea, and you are pregnant. Yes Uncle Zulu, nothing is impossible with God. And the mouth of the lions has been stopped. Both of you did not care to tell me all this good things happening in your lives. After all I have done for you both. This cannot be happening. First John is now intelligent, my brother you are now successful in business, and your wife is now pregnant. I need to figure out this puzzle. Brother Zulu, all you are seeing here is the handwork of God. And that is because I and my wife has come to know who we are in Christ. I know who I am. I'm a winner in this life. Glory to God. And we will keep be victorious till we rapture from this world. Never to be victims of man's wickedness. I see. I will be back. As for John, he can live with you. I don't want him anymore in my house. Few hours later. How dare you and John teach her to see my wife. Without telling her of John improvement. But when John was not doing well. You complained to my wife. Now John is so intelligent. I don't understand you sir. Is it that you and your wife. Don't want John to be well behaved and intelligent. That's not what I meant. I was not happy because the school failed to inform his guardians about his good behavior and improvement in his study. I'm very sorry about that sir. John wanted to surprise you both. To put more smile in your faces. I hope you understand. I understand now. Bye. Bye. All this in one day. I have to go to the village immediately. Let me go and give my brother Chris money. He is my main sacrifice to Gubla, the great goddess of the sea. I'm happy he's not a Christian. With him alone, I will get back on my feet. I need to be on speed. Is that you my brother Chris? How did this happen? How did you get well? Your skin is glowing. Oh no, I'm finished. You can't be well. I brought money for you, for your treatment and feeling. Brother here take it. Brother Zulu, are you alright? God Almighty. Use my son John to pray for me and I got healed of every disease, pains and infirmities in my body. When you all came, this last Christmas. From that day I kept getting better, stronger and healthy. It has been from glory to glory for me and my wife. That day our son also led both of us, to say the prayer of salvation. Life has been beautiful my brother. Congratulations my brother, here take this money, and get yourself whatever you want. I'm happy for you. Thank you brother Zulu for everything you did for us. We are grateful. I don't need the money. God has blessed me. I and my wife are moving to the city now. A friend of mine, Kevin you know him. Who works in oil and gas industry. Got me a job. I and my wife are leaving now to the city. Good afternoon, Uncle Zulu. You came to the village. Helen you are pregnant too. What is going on here? If God be for us, nothing can be against us. God has shown us mercy. You all are ungrateful. 
because God has healed you, you don't need my money anymore. I will deal with you, Benjamin and John. As for John that little boy, that son of yours who has reigned my life, I will finish him. He will know not to mess with the lion. Brother Zulu, are you threatening my son in our lives? Know that, greater is he, that is in us than he that is in the world. You will have to touch Jesus first, before you can touch us. And Jesus is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And we are seated in heavenly places far above all your powers, that is deceiving you. My brother, you need Christ in your life, so you will not be destroyed. Never, I will be back for you all. I have been waiting for you. You disgrace my powers. Tonight, your soul will end in hell and be greatly tormented. Great Goddess, please have mercy on me. Please give me a second chance. I will do anything. My brothers cannot be better than me. <laughs> you will have to give me one of your child. My beloved daughter should be perfect, since she is now pregnant, and we don't know who is the father of your child. Gooba, I give my daughter to you. I don't need her, she has been rejected she is not worth the sacrifice on the altar of the great sea. Alex will be perfect, since he has accepted Jesus Christ. And he is the least of my favorite children. Gooba, I give my son Alex. I don't need him either, don't waste my time. Gooba, wants my favorite son Peter, the one who took after me, the one whom I love with my whole heart. The one who inherit all my wealth. When I become rich again. <coughs> Gooba, I give my son Peter. <coughs> Perfect sacrifice. This night his soul will be mine and your wealth shall increase again. Mummy, I haven't seen Daddy since morning, and what is the news I'm hearing? Daddy company got burnt down by fire and his car goes sunk in the sea. What does this mean, Mummy? Peter, Daddy will be home by tomorrow. As for what you heard, it's nothing. Daddy is going to have many companies, houses too. You can have anything you want. Whoops. I want a plane. Then, Daddy will buy it for you. Wow, who? Mummy, my heart. No. Not my son. Somebody help me. My wife is okay. Stop crying. Our son is gone. We can't bring him back to life. As long as the goddess took my son Peter, John has to pay. He has to die. I will not rest until I kill that boy. Let's join our powers together tonight and finish him up. Yes, he must pay. He must die. Next I will deal with the rest of them. Tonight we'll destroy our great enemies John. Stubborn boy, you will regret ever coming into our world. I will see how your God we deliver you out from our hands. Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life is hidden you. Lord Jesus, you reign and rules over all things, over all forces, authorities, powers and rulers. Therefore no evil shall before me and my family in Jesus name Amen. My heart. My husband is dead. No this can happen. Ha 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 Deborah, you are going to give birth to your beautiful baby. I and my wife will take proper care of the child. I will be a father to the child and my wife will be a mother to the child. And we will love her so much. While you continue with your education, enjoying your life, we'll have a great future. I'm so happy you have found Jesus. Uncle, you have brought meaning and purpose into my life. And my heart is filled with joy. I'm going to love Jesus forever and ever. <laughs> I'm so happy we are brothers. Together we will do great things for God. 
I'm so happy too. We are going to shake the world for Jesus. Watch out world we are coming. The end. Film by Anne. All stories written by Anne. Hi my name is Anne. I believe you are inspired and blessed by this video. Please subscribe. Like, comment and share this video so we can reach more people. Kindly watch the next video. God bless you. Are you born again? Are you ready to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Do you know Jesus? Do you want to rededicate your life to God? Do you want to experience peace in your life? You too can begin a new life with Jesus Christ today. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. Oh, Lord God, I'll believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us through the comments section. See you in my next video. Bye.